afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Metal Beast, and today we're gonna take a little stroll around my project car, the 1973 Corvette Stingray. So I know I've had a couple of videos um, where I actually started to work on it, so uh, videos are gonna be a little bit out of order, but that's okay. Just pretend, uh, I don't know, you're in a Quentin Tarantino film maybe? I don't know it doesn't matter who cares so walking around as you can see she's gonna need a lot of work you could say she's a wreck you could say she's a rambling wreck and that is why I have dubbed the the rambling wreck one thing you will notice here we've got chrome bumpers now beast you said this was a 1973 it is but we have the 1968 to 1972 front clip so it does have the chrome bumpers, which is super, super sweet. Um, I love that. I think it's just the classic uh, C3 look with these early C3s. Uh, she's had a lot of paint jobs over the years. Uh, you can see we got blue. Primer. I don't know. Um, black. Red. And, and maybe some white again i don't know some burgundy but the coolest thing about this is if you look right there that's the original color is this yellow look at that there is nothing more beautiful than a yellow corvette so i am i am just uber excited about that see where they didn't even bother to these repaints however you know 367 repaints that they did on this car um but you can see original yellow that's what we're going to go back with um probably going to go with a nissan um 2004 color um that yellow uh i'm uh actually have used it before on my 1997 camaro z28 that i painted it uh it, it looks really nice i think we may go with that but that's going to be something for a later date and just check out the rear that is just gorgeous that is beautiful they've got the flat rear here this was the last year for that the chrome bumpers again we've got those inside the car so uh no back windshield i had to knock that out and reason being these doors were stuck um and as you can see they're all messed up here so when the car haulers came back to came out to get it early last year early this year um we couldn't get in i had to just knock this back glass out right here i just tapped it broke it Sad, I didn't mean to do that, didn't want to do that, but um, it's not a big deal. These are pretty easy to replace. Uh, you can get them, there are a lot of Corvette vendors out there um, that we can get one from, very reasonably priced. So, uh, walking around a little bit more, let's just go all the way around. So we can see here. Wish I had room space in the garage, but that's all right. Don't have any space yet. So as you can see, the body is really solid. See what I'm saying? Both doors, I've got the key, but those locking mechanisms, I'm gonna have to fix that. I'll probably just replace all that on it. Again, lots of options to do that. Here, uh, looks like there was a crack that they tried to repair and the geniuses, I don't know what in the heck they did there, um, but they put. it looks like they put some Bondo. I'll get all that sand, sand it off. Plastic fantastic. This thing will be easy to fix. So that's pretty much the outside. Let's kind of look, see what the undercarriage looks like. So let's look under the car, kind of show you the rails, birdcage. It's pretty solid on this car. This was a Southern car. I believe it spent most of its life in South Carolina. So nothing too bad. The uh, floorboards are, are uh, fiberglass, so nothing to worry about there. Uh, that's the uh, transmission um, cross member, crossbar uh, for uh, four speed. So the biggest thing, let me see if I can get that focused in just a little bit. Right there, you can see that is gone. That is actually the seat belt support, maybe the seat support. You can order those. Um, for a fairly reasonable price so we're gonna probably do that get that taken care of um, get uh, get those replaced but other than that the body is uh, at least the frame the metal pieces are pretty solid with the exception 
let's get up here of the doors which are typical of c3s so let's take a look at that again yeah, the, that uh bird cage is, is rock solid it's probably been protected by the you know three feet of paint that are on it from all those repaints but you can see right here that's going to be bad that's that's pretty gnarly over here again sad but i think i can fix all this with sheet metal and some welding um as opposed to replacing this entire door this one is fairly solid right in here um that's mostly surface rust so i shouldn't have to fix any of that the passenger side door is a different story this right here is actually rotted through but again i think i'll be able just to cut that out cut all the the bad metal out and uh replace it so we can go from there so that is the undercarriage let's take a look inside the car not in the best shape in the world um you can see the dash cracked typical of the one this vintage this is can be replaced we're going to replace this with a brand new uh dash as you can see center console is it's gone so we'll be replacing all of that the seats are actually cloth in these um let me step out just a second get a better view of inside the car so these are cloth seats and i didn't realize that some of these uh c3s came with cloth seats but they came with cloth seats i'm not sure if i'm gonna have these recovered in cloth or leather or vinyl or something i'll make that decision a little later on carpet it's pretty pretty gnarly um but uh i'll be able to get all that replaced i'm gonna have a video taking all this interior out because the one thing i'm gonna have to be replacing and that's this uh dash wiring harness you can see right in there it doesn't look too bad but if you get into here and i don't know that you can see it so what i'll do is i'll post a picture that wiring harness uh i should say the the fuse box which is right up in there is gone uh, i could try and keep it um it might work some of the you know best case scenario you know it's gonna have some functionality worst case scenario it burns the whole fucking car down so we're gonna err on the side of caution and uh just go and get get that replaced uh again these are some parts to the the bumpers this is the rear bumper all that's gonna have to be re -chromed. you can see it's in it's in bad shape but that's this that's, that's gonna be the fun of this project you're taking something that's been neglected that was one time a beauty and is now just seeing better days and it's going to turn out to be something just so beautiful i'm so excited about this so um that's our interior again it's going to be completely redone so let's take a look at our engine here is our engine bay i've already been taking things apart getting all this ready to pull so look at that engine in there guys you're probably thinking well it's not a 454 but it's probably an l82 right nope well it has to be an l48 nope it is a 305. I shit you not. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. I mean, what they were thinking. I, I'm, I'm assuming what happened was they blew this motor up. And instead of, you know, trying to find a, the, you know, either rebuild the one they had or find a 350 they found a wrecked camaro or or firebird and thinking it was a 350 it's got a v8 in it yeah it's a 350 no it's 305 and that's what the block number said on that so that's a bit of a bummer but i've got a 350 block i'm gonna be putting in this uh, my dad's got a couple of them at his shop so I just got to determine which one i'm gonna use and go from there we're going to go with some vortex heads and a nice lopy cam uh addition to that as you can see this wiring is a rat's nest of just utter look at that i mean just 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 a mess just just 
I mean, like for example, this I think goes to the, look at this shit. Oh, so fucking fresh. I think it goes to the fan. They had electric fan on it. Oh, it's just, I cannot stand white trash redneck crap. I mean, it's just, oh, it makes me so mad. But that's, that's kind of like we're at. So in a few weeks, gonna be pulling this motor transmission as well out. Do a video on that. Gonna be real deep, rebuilding the transmission <clears throat> and the engine. Be something nice. Uh, it's gonna have it running really strong. So lots of work ahead, folks. And I'm really excited. Again, let's just take another shot of this beauty. She's so gorgeous. So I can't tell you how excited I am. I've said that about 50 times, but it's just I really am. It's gonna be a lot of work. I might have to sink some money into it, but it's gonna be worth it. I'm telling you folks, I love this. And it's gonna be such a beautiful machine when she's done. So uh so just stay tuned everybody. Uh look forward to hearing from your comments, any questions you got, um, and following along, appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you get a chance. And with that said, Metal Beast out.